everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with another YouTube demo for you today. Of course, I love what we're going to be doing because I always love what we're going to be doing today. But we have got new product from Reminisce. We've got product from My Favorite Things. We have product from SRM stickers. And I can't wait to show you. But first things first, we have giveaways. And I am so fortunate that Elizabeth Craft Designs has donated not one, but two giveaways. So we can, um, we had a random picker pick two names and two of you get to win. And the prize package is just stellar. It's, oh, I can't believe that she was able to donate so much. And I want to extend a big thank you to Elizabeth Craft Designs for doing so. Now in your prize package, should you be the lucky winner, you will receive three of her new glitters. You're going to receive a die that says congratulations. You're going to receive several of her brand new peel off stickers and you're going to get some of the new tape, her new uh, tape sheets for the glitter so you can die cut. Just an, a phenomenal prize and not only one, we have two like that. So let's get to it and let me tell you who won and hopefully you're watching. First winner. M-M-A-A-T-0-4. M-M-A-A-T-0-4. That's your YouTube user ID. Congratulations. We will be trying to email you or contact you to uh, get your address and where we send this. And I don't know what your name is, but M-M-A-A-T-0-4. Yay for you. <laughs> Our second winner is Sent Up Your Life. And uh, same thing, congratulations. You're going to be getting a wonderful prize package filled with yummies from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And we hope that you both enjoy them. So sent up your life and M-M-A-A-T-0-4. You two are the lucky winners of our first giveaway. Now, of course, like I said, we'll have giveaways for every YouTube we do this year. And this YouTube, we also have two giveaways. We'll have a prize package that has uh, reminisce. It'll have my favorite things dies and it will have uh, SRM stickers in it. So we have two prize packages for this one too. So once you're done watching this YouTube, go over and post your comment, say something and you could win just like sent up your life and M M A A T zero four. I'm reading it off my post-it note. So if you're one of these two people, woohoo! <laughs> All right. So today what we have for you is product from Reminisce, My Favorite Things, and SRM stickers. And with Valentine's just around the corner, I wanted to show off some Valentine's Day uh, projects. Also that can be utilized for birthday presents and teacher's gifts and wedding really great for wedding um, party favors, all sorts of things. And for me, Valentine's is a really important day. Uh, it was the day my husband proposed to me. <laughs> now I've known my husband since I was 13 years old and I am so not 13 years old anymore. But at 14 years old, I did tell him he was going to marry me one day. And of course I was right. <laughs> <laughs> now, it took him a while to get around to, to agreeing with me, <laughs> but on Valentine's Day, we were at the Doubletree Hotel, which I think now is a Marriott in Ventura, California, and he proposed that morning, and we went out to a lovely brunch, a champagne brunch at the Doubletree Hotel, and um, it was just a wonderful day for me, and unlike other newly engaged girls, I did not call my mom or my best friend first. No, I picked up the hotel phone and called to see if the sales and catering office was open because <laughs> after we had our Sunday brunch, the food was great, hotel looked good, they had a nice garden to have a wedding, and we just strolled, well, I pulled, he didn't stroll, I pulled him over to the sales and catering office, and before we left that day, I had my venue booked. <laughs> because <laughs> that's kind of how I roll. I had waited and no, I'm not waiting anymore. So Valentine's Day, we not only got engaged, but I booked my wedding and set the date. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> and this year it'll be 18 years that we've been married. So um, it was the one of the best days ever. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I love Valentine's Day and that's the main reason why. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and I am going to tilt on down and we are gonna get started for today, all right? And congratulations, winners, and 
Don't forget, we have two prize packages this time too, so post your comments. Oh, and I guess I should say, I know some people have been having trouble posting on YouTube. I think you need to have a username on YouTube. If you click over from my email, you need to sign up for YouTube and have a username, and then you should be able to post a comment to, to the YouTube. That way you can qualify to win. Okay, down we go, bye. <laughs> Okay, how's that? There we go. I think that, ooh, let's go down a little bit further. I think that's pretty good. Yay? Yay. Okay, what do we have for you today? I have dies by My Favorite Things. And I know this doesn't look like much. It, most people are like, what the heck is that thing? But when you see what it makes, oh, how cute. I have new pillow boxes by SRM. Uh, stickers, SRM Press, these pillow boxes open up, but wait till you see what we're gonna do with them before we open them up. And I have fabulous glassine bags. The samples that we have are amazing. SMR was kind enough to send us some of the samples that they used at the CHA show. The SMS girls did samples. And okay, so just so you know, this piece here makes this here to hold your lollipop. Oh, is that darling? Is that the cutest ever? And this one is for a birthday. And we use the SRM stickers. But isn't that so cute? Now, not only does it hold lollipops, but Jenny, a daughter of one of our customers, Colleen's daughter, made cake pops. Yum! Look at how cute it is to hold cake pops. And I know cake pops are the rage right now. So I want to tell Jenny, thank you very much for making those for me. I greatly appreciate it. Look at how cute is that. Isn't that darling? And of course this paper is the new Reminis Valentine's Day paper. So I'm gonna put those out of the way and we're gonna get started. We've got the SRM stickers that we're gonna be using. I've got the die that we're gonna be using. And just so you know, the, the doily on this one, the extra doily, the black, is another of my favorite things dies and it's right here. It is sold separately. It does not come with a lollipop holder. But let me put that one out of the way too and we are going to get started. That's a little bit too far out of the way, I can't reach it. All right, so I have got the die. And it's a wafer thin die, so you can use it with your cuddle bug, your uh, Vagabond machine, but of course we're gonna be using it with our Sizzix Big Shot machine because the Sizzix Big Shot machine is a, of course the die cutting machine of choice here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now what comes with this die are little accent pieces. And you get three little buttons. This button here fits inside of either of the two larger to give you a layered look, okay? So this button you can use by itself or you can use these by itself or you can layer in and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, the My Favorite Things dies are also coated. A lot of the new dies now have this wonderful coating on them and they do have score lines on the bottom of the die. I wanna tell you when you're using this die and you use paper, you're not necessarily going to see the score lines. You're going to feel them when, they're not so visible when you look at the paper, but when you feel the paper, then you will know. So I'm gonna cut this really fast for you because I want you to see just how quick and easy it is. I'm gonna pull up my die cutting machine, my Big Shot machine. Here we go. And I have got my multi-purpose platform that comes with your machine. I've got it on wafer dies because my favorite things dies are wafer dies. So I'm going to keep my platform completely closed. I have got my do not cut plate down first because you always want to have a do not cut plate that keeps it smooth. You're, you're able to glide through your machine without having any problem. And I'm going to take my die Instead of putting it straight, I'm going to put it at an angle, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing that. When you put it straight, it comes very close to the edges of the do not cut plate. It comes very, very close. So sometimes the pressure at the ends when you're rolling it through your machine is not as strong as the pressure in the middle. If you just rotate it and put it on an angle, you're going to get a much better cut because it has more pressure at these ends since it's not so close to the end of the, of the multi-purpose platform and your do not cut plate. So when using this die, just rotate it at an angle and it'll be much better for you. I'm gonna put it in my 
Sizzix machine. I'm going to grab a piece of paper. I suppose I should cut it. I'm going to grab a piece of paper. Let's just trim this down a little bit. I'm going to put it right over my die. I'm going to add my other clear top plate, which as you can see has been cut into, and that's exactly what it should look like. And I'll use this plate until it literally cracks in half. I'm going to put it right on top, and I'm going to send it through. Little creaks and crones, that's okay. If it groans a little bit, that's just the plates, no problem. Open it up, and it pops right on out. Pops right on out, and I've got my first cut. Now remember I told you that you're not gonna necessarily be able to see where the score lines are, but you can feel them. I feel them right there. And depending on what side you want the paper to be, you just fold on those score lines. Let's see, there's one of them. There's the other. And I have started to make my lollipop holder. Okay, there we go, so cute. Now, I'm gonna take the other dies right here that it came with, and I'm going to do this button inside of this button. So again, I'm gonna put them right down on my do not cut plate with my multi-purpose platform completely closed. I'm going to cover them with paper. Now I'm gonna use the same paper that I had used to cut my base because it's double-sided paper. So I'm just gonna use that exact same paper. I'm gonna put my plate right over the top and I'm gonna send it on through. Ah, there we go. So now I have got my two little buttons. And because I did this side out first, I would take this button, line it up, put it that way, and then take the reverse, like that. So with one double-sided sheet of paper, you can actually, with one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you can actually make four lollipop holders. Really cute. Now, they've got the button holes. So you would string your cord through the back of all the buttonholes, through the back, bring it up to the center, and tie. Now this is the time if you want to add another button, a cute little button on top, you would do that at this time. Anything you want to add, any little extra embellishment. So I've got this one. See, look at how cute is that. There's another base. And same thing. You could just take and layer on top until your little heart's content, and then string through. I've got this one done. Right, let me move this out of the way. I've got this one done with the lollipop in it. We've got some other samples here. Here's one for a baby shower. It's got the little SRM sticker down there. And can you see how we have strung Right here, we've strung some baker's twine through the whole thing and tied a bow. So if I untie this, see how it opens? See how it's all strung together? Now I recommend that you tie it and then you put your lollipop in. Now it doesn't have to be a lollipop, it can be a cake pop like Jenny made or you could get a little cello bag and poke some holes in the little cello bag and hang it from there and put a couple Jordan almonds in it. But I suggest you tie it. And then you take your lollipop and you slide it up through the bottom. Just, just like that. And it's done. Is that not the best die ever? And I know when you look at it like this, it's like, what does that make? Now, if you see that the little dots, the little buttons are attached by a little piece of metal, when you get it, you'll just take them apart, unattach them, just fold them in there too. But how cute is that? 
super darling with the cake pops or the lollipops. So we have one for baby shower and we have one for birthday. We have one, we did one for Halloween. I mean, you can use them for anything. And again, this has the extra doily that we used right here. It's using the small doily, the extra doily, just to add a little more oomph to it. So we've got for, for Halloween and birthday and baby shower. And of course we've got for Valentine's and for the 4th of July. Oh my gosh, if you have to do school parties or something at church or the senior center, it's just the cutest idea and they just whipped through them so fast. I've got for spring, just a happy spring one. Are they not darling? And again, you'll just take, here's the cake pop, you would just take it up and work it up and through. I would tie it first because then you get a really nice tight tie. I would tie it first. Here we put Charms Blow Pops, yum. Darling, isn't it? All done with just this one die, which of course all the My Favorite Things dies will be on a YouTube Yummy, but just done with this one die. And when it's hanging, you don't really get the concept of what it does because there's no picture to tell you. But when you see the finished product, just absolutely darling. Absolutely darling. And the SRM stickers, we sell lots of them online. We have the SMR stickers. The stickers are a matte finish, so when you put them on, it doesn't even look like a sticker. They look like rub-ons, actually, but so much easier than a rub-on. So that is using our Sizzix Big Shot machine and the die, the lollipop die, from My Favorite Things. We have a wedding one, too. Little wedding one using the SRM stickers again. And you just stick your little lollipop. Only with this time, I would take a little cello bag and poke two little holes in it and have it hang and put the Jordan almonds or candy kisses or whatever it is that you want to put in it for your wedding party favors. Really simple. It's just paper, very inexpensive, and has a great look. I mean, it really does make a wow. So that's using the My Favorite Things lollipop. Lollipop holder, I guess, is what you would call it. And again, Valentine's Day, weddings, birthdays, anything. It's good for everything. And in conjunction with some of the SRM stickers, you can just look at, you get, you get all these stickers on one sheet. Can you imagine how many lollipop holders? I mean, well, you can make 12 just with one sheet of stickers and three sheets of paper. Just pop that sticker instead of the button, pop that sticker right center, and you're done. So cute. All right, so that's using the My Favorite Things dies, which I really, really like. I think it's a great die, and when you're looking at it, you, you don't necessarily understand what it is it does. And that's one of the reasons we chose it, because it's really not self-evident <laughs> what this makes. <laughs> The first time I looked at it, I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> but so cute. All right, next time, next thing we're going to move on to is, let's go with the pillow boxes. These are new from SRM stickers, SRM press, and they're a pillow box. And they're a heavy acrylic or acetate, and you just literally fold them like that. How cute are they? They come in three sizes. This one would fit a gift card in it. And look at how cute is this. Again, perfect for Valentine's Day to throw some candy hearts in. Perfect for wedding party favors. Perfect for birthday party favors. The samples we have to show you are wonderful. But I want to show you a little something that can be done with these as opposed to just leaving them plain. Now they ship flat, so that's really nice. They don't ship all puffed up. They ship flat and you get 10 to a package um, on each size, and I'm going to take, again, our Big Shot machine. I'm going to take our Big Shot machine, and this time I'm going to throw this through an embossing folder. And you're like, say what? And it's like, yes, I'm going to throw it through an embossing folder. So I've got a Cuddlebug embossing folder, and it doesn't matter if it's a Cuddlebug or a Sizzix or a Tim Holtz Alterations or a Doris or a Couture Creations. You're going to just go ahead and you're going to put it right in 
your embossing folder. Now, because I'm using an embossing folder, again, I'm going to take my multi-purpose platform, and this time I'm going to open it to tab one. Now, on my embossing and my multi-purpose platform, it shows textured impressions. It shows a translucent embossing folder, and that's what you're going to be using. Again, it doesn't matter if you're using Derice or Couture Creations or Cuddlebug or Sizzix or Tim Holtz. If it's a translucent embossing folder, you're going to work on tab one. So I'm going to slide my other tab through. I'm going to put my Do Not Cut plate down. I'm going to put my embossing folder that has my pillow box inside, and I'm going to go on top put my other cut plate and I'm going to send it on through. There we go. We have now embossed our pillow box. I know! <laughs> oh my gosh, is it cute! <laughs> I love it! And you can fold it closed and I mean how darling is this? Get this side closed. And it's all embossed. Take a, take a plain pillow box and jazz it up. But of course, you know us, we're not quite done with it yet. No, 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 I have to reopen it up now. Flatten it back out. Let me move my Big Shot out of the way. Love our Big Shot machines. And in case you don't know, because I rarely say it, I, I need to say it more. Big Shot machines sell for $100. We sell them for $69.99 every day. So that's your everyday price here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. All right, I've got my pillow box all embossed. Stays on. Because the pillow box is non-porous, it's a plastic, the only ink that's going to adhere to it is stays on or archival ink. We use stays on. It's the ink we like. It's by Sukuniko, by the same people who make Memento and Brilliance. So we, we use our stays on. When you buy your stays on, it's going to come with this little, there's inside here, there's this little plastic tray that just sits right on top. That keeps it from drying out. We recommend you take two glue dots, two, two pop dots, put it into the top of the tray or into your lid, close your lid on top of that tray, and that way the tray is permanently attached to your lid so you never, never lose it. Stays on is not to be left uncovered for any length of time. It will dry out because it's an alcohol-based product. Alcohol-based product. It is a permanent ink, not a dye ink, not a chalk ink, not a pigment ink. It's a permanent ink. So when you think of stays on, think of Sharpie markers, think of Bic markers. It's a permanent ink. And when you're writing on plastic, you need something permanent that will dry. So of course we're just going to take our stays on and I'm going to rub it right over the top. And it's going to hit the embossing. And give it a whole new look. Boy, if you were doing a wedding, oh my gosh, how elegant would it be to do all of these? Just hit it with your stays on and hit that embossing, have it come right up. It will dry. And you can open your box up and fill it with whatever goodies you want. If you were doing, now stays on comes in tons of colors, so you don't have to use black. You could use red, you could use green, you could use purple, whatever color you want, but you need it to be stays on so it will dry on the plastic. And again, it takes something from just a plain pillow box into a wow pillow box. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Gosh, I hope I'm not getting that flu. <laughs> no flu. So, darling, isn't it? And again, the pillow box comes in three different sizes. And I have the most yummy samples to show you. Now, you could also just take the pillow box and decorate it. I mean, we have got the most phenomenal stickers. The border stickers are wonderful, and they're easy. Again, from SRM Press. The border stickers you just peel. Let me cut a piece. I've got my fussy cut scissors here. Let me just cut a piece. Border stickers, you just peel, and you can literally just start to decorate your box. You can just start to decorate your box. 
and they're just absolutely darling. Trim it down. And the beauty of the stickers is that they don't look like stickers. They have a matte finish to them. So when you put them on, they're just gorgeous. They don't have this high gloss sheen like you would think a sticker normally would have. And you just trim them down and you just start to decorate your box. Oh my gosh, the stitches, the stitches stickers are so cute. And I think, I think those are actual Singer stitches. They took the, the actual Singer stitches and duplicated them, replicated them into, this pa into their patterns. So cute. And the wedding. If you're making wedding party favors, I love the border stickers because they're just so easy to use. And you can use them on everything. Oh my gosh, you could go in and take your border stickers and use them right on your, use them right on your, um, lollipop holder. Let's see. This might be too big. Uh, come on, cut, cut, cut. Oh, my fussy cut scissors are not cutting through real well. Let's see if I can get it this way. Oh, there we go. Operator error. Oh, I've got two. Okay, let's peel this one off. There we go. So I could just put love is sweet right at the bottom and trim it off. So cute. And just trim it down. The border stickers really are absolutely wonderful. It gives you a nice sentiment. They give you lots of things. This has got uh, happy Valentine's Day and love is sweet and it's got some of the stitches and be mine for Valentine's and they've got a million different sets of these. Really cute. So let me show you some of the samples we've got. I love the embossing. I absolutely love the embossing. I think it's like the best thing ever on the pillow boxes. Just take something plain and really jazzes it up. And then if you want to add even more to it, you use your stays on ink. So let me show you some of the samples we've got. Look at how pretty is that. Again, the love is, is a sticker. Easy, easy to do, a sticker. And here we've got another box. These are just perfect for wedding party favors. The center here, this is all stickers, just on plain paper. And look at the borders. Look at the borders. Again, using the border stickers. So easy to do. Think Easter, think Valentine's, think any kind of party that you need a little thank you gift for, or a little party favor gift. Anything for church, darling, Mother's Day boutique or tea. Okay, this happens to be one of my favorites. And again, this is for a birthday party, for a boy's birthday party. And inside are army men. Is that not darling? And they have used the um, pennant stickers that I was using, the pennant stickers, probably from the birthday collection. The pumpkin, or the pumpkin, the cupcake here is a sticker. The happy birthday is a sticker, all from SRM. Really cute. And the pillow boxes, because you get three different sizes, you really have a choice of what you want to do. I'm going to show you one of the small pillow boxes. Let's put this one up here. Look at that for Valentine's. And inside you can fill it with candy. They can fill it with a coupon. Now this one has been embossed. Do you see? It's got the dots. It's got big dots on it and it's been embossed. And it hangs. How cute is that? Again, SRM stickers, 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 just on paper. They make it so simple. Isn't that just darling and easy? So we've got the pillow boxes that I absolutely love. And again, they come in the three sizes. Uh, here's the large, here's the medium, and then the one I played with was the small all three sizes and can be embossed perfectly. Just use your embossing folders and your Sizzix Big Shot machine and you are ready to go. The next thing we have is also another container holder. This is the glassine bags. Glassine bags. And again, they come in several sizes. So we've got one, two, three, and then the big one. 
So four sizes of the glassine bags. And again, super easy to decorate, super easy to emboss. Yes, you can emboss them. I'm gonna pull up my Big Shot machine. Let's grab a different embossing folder this time. Let's grab the swirls. I've got a different embossing folder. Oh, let's use a small, the smaller bag since it'll fit better. Got my bag in there. Close it up. Again, I'm going to be working on tab one. I'm going to put it on my do not cut plate. I'm going to put another clear plate over the top and I am going to send it through. Don't worry about those creaks. It's okay. That's just your plates. It's not a problem. Open it up. Ooh. And I've now embossed my glassine bag. How cute is that? Now you fill them with whatever goodness you want. And of course you can take your um, stays on again and you can go right over the top of it. But how cute is that? And you just fill them with ever, whatever goodness makes you happy. And of course you can take your stickers again. You can take your stickers. I could cut, oh, yeah, I guess that would be okay. I can cut one of my, from my lollipop holder. I can cut one of my circles. I've got one of my circles. Cut it in a plain card stock, or even a patterned card stock, and I can take my sticker, go right over the top of it, right over the top of it. Take one of my Be My Valentine stickers. Go right down the side of my bag. And we do it this way. Right down the side of my bag. Fold over. Close it with my little top piece and fill it with nothing but goodness. How cute and simple and fast and that embossing just it takes the plain glassine bag up to a little different level. And these stickers are so easy to use. You know I love stickers when they're made right and SM or SRM makes great stickers, Penny Black makes great stickers. These just work well and they disappear into the paper so it doesn't look like a high gloss sticker. They're so cute. Let's see, do I have some to show you? I know I do somewhere. Oh, here. I've got a whole selection to show you of their stickers. So these are labels, and you can take little words and just fill them right into the labels, handmade by or Mr. and Mrs., whatever you want. It's just so simple. Cute, huh? This one was on one of the ones that we showed you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll have to find which one. It, oh, here. Right there. That's a sticker. It's not even paper. It's a sticker. And then another sticker that says love is right in the middle of it. Perfect for weddings. We've got this. And then they come in party favors. And if you're baking, I'm going to show you a sample where they use these. And the stitches and some of the borders. And you know, you cut these in half and you've got enough to do so many. Look at the patriotic. Is that cute for 4th of July? And here is thinking of you and be happy and kind of Easter. Look at the ladybugs. How darling. And then the um, <clears throat> say it again stickers or the all over stickers where you get the same pattern again and again and again. Now these ones are all new. These were just released. So we have far more styles than this. Look at the love. That's the one we used. Where's my love? This is the one we used for this one right here. We used the love at the bottom and we used the little uh, bouquet at the top. Really cute. And then the reminisce paper. While I'm here, I might as well show you the reminisce paper. Love the Valentine's reminisce paper. How cute is this? And I have to tell you, Reminisce generally sells for a dollar a sheet. 
It won't be on a YouTube Yummy for us because we sell it for 79 cents a sheet every day. I know, doesn't that just remind you of your childhood? <laughs> I love that one. And look at what they did with the with this. They just popped it, we cut it out of the smaller circle and put it right on. We just lined it up, die cut it out, and look at how stinking cute is that for the cake pop holder. Love the reminisce paper. The Valentine's collection was really cute. I can tell you that it's limited though. Um, we've ordered extra of a couple sheets because once they run out, they run out. So when we run out, we run out. So if you're going to get any of the Reminisce Valentine's paper, I suggest you order it soon because it goes when it goes. Now we've got plenty of glassine bags and I want to show you some of the things that we did with the glassine bags. We have plenty of the glassine bags and we have plenty of the pillow boxes and we have plenty of the My Favorite Things die. Plenty of that, but the paper, the paper is limited. So let me show you some of the things we did with the glassine bags. Let's just pull them all up for wedding. So this here is a sticker. This is a sticker put on white chipboard or our cardstock. Back here is a sticker. And you could just put your little Jordan almonds in them or whatever giveaway you're giving and look at true love down at the bottom. Is that darling? all done with the simple glassine bags. Here's one very close to what I was talking about doing. And you just decorated it with the stickers. Closed it up, did a little die cut, and like I said, you can use, you could even use this for your top piece. Die cut this, fold it over, staple it, and close up your bag. Here we've got one that's been embossed. Can you see it's got the little dots on it? And they took a little bit of ink over the front, the pink ink. And inside, you've got a little invitation date night. So cute. Here we've got one that's a little bit bigger. Always and forever. The glassine bag is inside, so they made a pocket out of paper and put the glassine bag inside where you can put your little thank you note or your party favor right inside. Another wedding with the baker's twine hanging from it. And it just has this wonderful finished look. It's got the sticker on the bottom. This black one here is a sticker. It's got the wedding sticker that's been popped up. All out of glassine bags. Your imagination could go wild. I mean, you could use these for everything. This is darling. This is my favorite. So this was made with one of those stickers. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. One of the, here. This one was made with this sticker sheet where you've got the made with love. And then you've got a bunch of borders from different sets and you've got the you've got the banners. But how cute is this to put a couple homemade cookies in or some fudge in or some brittle in to give out. And again, depending on what colors you use, you could do it for Easter, you could do it for a boutique, you could do it for Mother's Day, you could jazz it up and make do it for Father's Day. Whatever, it just the the Options are absolutely limitless on these glassine bags and these pillow boxes and the little lollipop holders. They're just absolutely endless. Oh, <laughs> my gosh, there's so much to show. Okay, so what did we talk about today? We talked about the My Favorite Things dies. And these dies are wafer thin, wafer thin dies which means it's really going to cut no more than two sheets of, of thin paper or one sheet of cardstock. Okay, and this is how it comes packaged. And I know when you look at it, you don't really know what you're getting. So this is what you'd be making. Let me get one of the simple ones. I love this one for 4th of July. This is what you would be making. You get to make the base, the background, pinking circle there and then the red circle. All of that comes with the die. Darling, isn't it? And how are we going to use this? We're going to use this in our Big Shot machine. Let me just pull up the platform one more time. We're going to use this in our Big Shot machine. You've got your multi-purpose platform completely closed. You've got your do not cut plate. And this is important. I want you to put the die on a diagonal. I want, because if you put it straight, it's just so close to the ends that sometimes there's not enough pressure to hit those ends and it won't cut. I want you to put it just on the diagonal. Then you would take your paper, 
put your paper right on top. Take your cut plate, put it right on top, and send it through your Big Shot machine. And that's gonna do it for you. That's gonna make you this piece right here. That's gonna make you this piece right here. Now remember, you're not gonna feel, you're not gonna see the score lines. You need to feel them. And where you feel them, you just bend up. Now if I wanted to use this side, I would have just bent my score lines this way. It's always nice to use double-sided paper when you're doing this. That way the inside looks finished too. There, now I've changed the look. Either way. And we're using the Reminis uh, Valentine's Day collection, which we sell for 79 cents a sheet every day. It's usually a dollar a sheet. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Okay? So we've got the My Favorite Things dies that are easy to use. We have got the new Glassine bags from SRM Press, SRM stickers. They come in, I think, packages of 10, and there's four different sizes, and you can't go wrong with any of them, and they're very inexpensive. And then we also have the new pillow boxes. So cute. And of course, don't forget these, the pillow boxes and the glassine bags. All you have to do is put it inside an embossing folder. Put it inside an embossing folder to give it some texture. And how are we going to do that? We're going to take our multi-purpose platform. We're going to open it up to tab one. We're going to put our do not cut plate down. We're going to take our bag, put it inside our folder, and then take our other clear plate, put it right on top. Don't know, oh, here we go. Our other clear plate to put it right on top and send it through our Big Shot machine. There's your sandwich. And the samples you get are just, just yummy. So again, I'm gonna show my favorite because I just think that's so cute with the little army men for a little boy's birthday party. And I love the, the little hanging valentines and the wedding. So darling. And I love the cake pop holder because cake pops are just the rage right now. They're so in right now. So what other, and the, the baby shower. How cute. Now you could get little um, pink lollipops or blue lollipops and stiff those in there as opposed to a Charms Blow Pop. And our happy birthday. Just really simple. You've got an office party and you just want to give everybody a little party favor from the office party for a birthday. There you go. Easy to do. And they have got so many different sticker combinations. Just so many different stickers. We have them all online. So, I'm going to tilt on up. And I'm going to say, hey, where are you going to get all of these great products? Well, if you can't find them at your local retailer, we ask that you shop at our online store if you can't make it into our store. <laughs> and where are we? You can find us at www.shopatsms. That's the word shop, the word at, sms.com. Or www.shopatsms.com scrapbookingmadesimple.com. So you would spell out the word shop, you would spell out the word at scrapbookingmadesimple.com or www.scrapbooking-made-simple.com. And what will be on sale? Well, the Reminis paper we love and it's very limited. We've got probably about 100 sheets of each in right now. So those are going to be a regular everyday price of 79 cents. That's already 20% off at what everybody else I think sells it for. It's about a buck a sheet. But we will have all the My Favorite Things on sale. We will have all the SRM stickers and glassine bags and pillow boxes on sale for you. And then next YouTube, we will again have two wonderful giveaways that will feature the Reminisce and the SMR stickers and some My Favorite Things dies. So you have two chances to win. So this is Stacy, and now that you've watched my YouTube, go post and say, yay, I want to win. <laughs> And don't tell my husband I told you the story about how I dragged him to the sales office to get hitched right away. I mean, he didn't have much option. He proposed and we set a date. <laughs> I don't let, um, what do I say? I don't let moss grow under my feet. No. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And to the two people who won, 
Oh, I lost my, oh, two, the two people who won this week who won the Elizabeth Crafts designs. If you were them, MMAAT04 or Sent Up Your Life, we'll try and contact you via YouTube, but you can also give us a call here at 661-298-1112. And we are so happy for you. Congratulations, you both won a wonderful prize package. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.